Yeah, welcome to cooking with Papa Tuck and Papa Tuck's Kitchen. Now I was right in the middle of cooking turkey soup and the camera crew come in. Thanks a lot camera crew. So we might as well go right ahead and film this. But what I've already done here is I've got my, my leftover turkey down here if the camera wants to shoot to that there for a minute. I got my, my, my leftover turkey here and I've taken half of it off and I've, I've actually broke the leg off and I took the meat off it and I've actually put it into my, my pan over there with water and I'm making broth. I've already basically cooked that down. Now what's going to be going into this is I always act, I always love to add a box of cottage in chicken broth to either chicken soup or turkey soup. It, it just helps the broth give it some nice nice tangy flavor. And then I always put a package of carrots in and I, I put a package of, uh, you know, these are fresh now, fresh carrots and fresh veggies. I'll throw that in there. We'll boil it down. And like back home, the little green onions, we're going to throw the little green onions in there. And uh, we'll cut, the, like they say back home, cut the roots off. Yeah! And uh, we'll, we'll use some elbow macaroni for this. And I'll add that after. And one thing I don't like to do is I don't like to put my elbows right into my soup when it's done. Because as it sets, the, of course, the macaroni just cooks too much. So I try to keep it separate, you know, and add it as you need it. And then I'll actually throw a couple cans of uh, vegetables in there too. And, and today I'm using Surefine vegetables, which are great. And I mean, these things are awesome. And I'm, these cans are 14 ounces. I'm going to put two cans in there. And I also like to use a little bit of garlic in there. I'll, I'll throw just like a teaspoon of garlic in there, okay? And uh, this, this is uh, chopped, minced, or whatever garlic. And you can actually use fresh garlic too. But this is what I got in the house. I'm throwing this together really super quick because it's for my family on the run. And we worked hard all day, you know. And we're just going to have a little bit of turkey soup. So what I normally do here is I'll take a pan. Now my broth is just about done over here, my meat and everything. And what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you that in a minute, how I cut the bones off and everything. But what I'm going to do right now is... Cut the roots off, you might say, okay? Let's get these all evened up. We'll do this all in one nice uh, sweep. Look at that, boom, the roots are off. There goes the roots. And we will take and just chop these up a little bit, about like this, okay? About like that. And that's about it right there. So let's get the roots put to the side. Boy, they smell nice. And I also use one onion. I'll throw an onion into this. Okay, so let's get the onion ready. And I always like to take, for my family, because my wife doesn't like onions, I'll take and throw this onion in whole. So I'm not even gonna cut this up. Okay, let's get that off to the side. We'll set that right there. Our carrots are ready. Veggies are ready. And I'm gonna take some fresh oregano about, camera wanna get close up, about a stem of fresh oregano, okay? And what I'll do is, we'll, what we'll do here is we'll peel, let me put that aside. We'll peel these leaves off of here like this, okay? Just get the leaves off the stem. Oh my God, it's nice and fresh. It's always nice to use fresh. You know, it just makes a huge difference. But that's that for that, and we'll actually, Throw that over into this little mix and we'll blend this together in a second. Okay, so now that's all put aside over there. What we're going to do now is I've got a pan, okay, and a strainer. I will take that just like that. I will bring, bring my boiled mix over here. Be careful with all up there, it's hot. And we will strain the broth that we made, keeping the meat separate. Now I've got bones and everything in here. And this is what we've got to be careful with. You don't want to get these bones. Put this back over here. You want to keep the bones out of the soup. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll get all the juice out of here like this. And I'll get another pan to put the, this meat in so that I can show you. And what we'll do is we'll set this aside like this. And we'll let this cool. Okay. While that's cooling, I'll throw my onion in and my other mix in there that we just got prepared. Okay, just like this, just like that, and just like that. Now, 
we'll get about a teaspoon of garlic in there. Oh my God, I love the smell of garlic. Yeehaw, that's awesome. We'll throw our fresh, fresh veggies in there, just like that. Woo, here you go, Mama Stuck. Gotta keep Mama busy cleaning. And we will throw our carrots in there, just like that. Then we will take and throw our broth in there. We get her open. You don't need to put the broth in actually, but I like to. Because we've already made homemade broth from the bones and the meat off the leftovers. So let's get that deal. It's just like milking a cow back home. Yeah! There it is. There's your broth. I set that aside over here. And what we're gonna do is put this over on the stove on a medium heat and start heating this baby up. We want it, we actually want to boil. We actually want to boil these uh, vegetables up. So let's get that going. And we'll actually bring that up to a boil. And uh, while we're waiting on that, we will take and separate our meat from the bones. Now the meat's cool enough where I can actually handle it. And I, I'm gonna take and, and get the meat all off the bones. Now, my other two cans of veggies, I am not gonna put in yet. We're gonna do that about halfway done. Hey, Daisy. Yeah, good girls. We're about halfway uh, through this cook of the broth, we'll put them in because that needs to cook. We gotta get them tender, and then we will add our already canned and cooked vegetables. Okay, so what, what we do here is we get this meat broke up a little bit and put into this big dish, okay, like this, and get all the meat off the bones. Now be careful of your leg because you've got these little strip bones in here, I call them. You, you gotta be careful you don't put them in your soup. You don't want the little ones taking a bite of a bone. Now, while I'm doing this, I'd like to thank one of my sponsors here, and I'll be right back. Now, I'd like to thank Bose Gas out there. That's my sponsor of this show. And uh, Bose Gas is on Martha's Vineyard, and he's doing an awesome job out there installing furnaces and air conditioning systems and gas lines. I mean, Bo is awesome. He, he's, he's really helping the people of Martha's Vineyard with good prices. And Bo, I just can't thank you enough for, for, for being the sponsor of these shows. Now back to the show. Now it's been about 20 minutes at a hard boil on our broth with our vegetables in it. We're about ready to add all the rest of the fixings to this soup. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna put this meat down. Now as you see, I, I got all the bones out of it, okay? We've got all the bones out of the meat, got them separated, and we've got just meat here now. So let me uh, show you what we're gonna do now. Let me get the pot holders. I'm gonna bring this baby right over, get the top off her. Actually better turn the stove off while we do this. All right, bring this over. Now remember, the only thing in this baby right now, put that hot plate down on my dad's meat board that he made me about 25 years ago right there. Love it. All right, what we're gonna do is we are gonna add two quarts of water to this broth and veggies. And I've got that all prepared over here. And I'm just gonna add about two quarts Two quarts water to this, just like that. Okay. Now, this water that's in here is going to mix with the with the broth that we've already got in there. We're going to leave the top off while we boil this some more, and a lot of the water is going to evaporate out of it, leaving the flavors in the soup. Now we're going to add this meat to this, just like this. Okay, just like that. And we are going to add our canned veggies, okay? And I wanna take and, and strain the water, you know, the juices out of the can. So let me get the juices out of there, and then we'll just add our can of veggies right into this, so that it's just veggies, just like that. Okay, now you can add water chestnuts to this. I mean, you can add what, what you like to it, actually. My wife actually likes water chestnuts. Okay, so let me put that in there. Now we're gonna return this back to the stove and bring it back up to a boil with the top on it, okay? Let me get the stove turned back on high. Now the stove's turned back on high. I'm gonna put a top on it. We're gonna bring that up to a boil and then I'm gonna turn that down to a medium heat, sorta of let it simmer for like another hour, you might say. And uh, you know, of course, with the top off of it. We're going to keep our eye to it. We're going to keep it stirred. 
In the meantime, we're going to cook our 90s. Okay, I call them 90s. They're elbow. I'm using elbow macaroni in this, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do is, is uh, for all you new cooks out there, I'm going to get me a, a pot of water going. I'm going to bring it up to a hard boil, and then I'm going to put the macaroni into it at a hard boil and keep it stirred until these things are tender to the chew, as Papa Tuck says. And then uh, we'll go from there and show you, show you the rest. Now, I'd like to take a, a few moments here and, and uh, I'll, I'll show you the books that we've been working on. Okay? Hey, how y'all doing out there? You know me, I'm Papa Tuck from The Cooking Show, Cooking with Papa Tuck. And uh, I, want to, I want to take a minute and tell you how this all started. It all started with my cookbook. This is cookbook number two and I'm actually working on cookbook number three. You can view this at papabooks.net, check it out and ask for one. Email me, send me an email from the site. You know, and we also have the beautiful little novel Life with a Fisherman which is a beautiful, beautiful beach read. This thing is awesome. And uh, it's about a captain, old time captain, who teaches a little boy the ways of the old time fisherman. Really, really nice book. And then we've got also on there, Pumpkin Bunch, which is a wonderful children's book. Grandma and Grandpa, you've got to get this for your grandkids. So go to papabooks.net and check this out, okay? Now, another thing that I would like to bring up is we are gonna be doing an all new TV game show. This thing is gonna be airing up and down the East Coast. Um, we're gonna be getting into this uh, probably within a 30 day period. If you would like to be a contestant on the all new game show, go to papabooks.net, there you go again, and email me at pete at papabooks.net, okay? Now, this is going to be a lot of fun. We are going to be filming this all-new game show right here on this beautiful island of Martha's Vineyard. So hopefully I will hear from you. Now enjoy the cooking shows. I will see you soon. All right, welcome back. The soup is cooking, and it's basically time to get the macaroni going. So we'll probably show you how to do that real quick. But first... Pop Tuck's got to have a cup of Italian coffee. So, we're going to have us some Italian coffee. Yeah! Nice. Now, cheers. Let's get our macaroni going. So, we got water over here boiling. She's up to a boil. Now that it's at a hard boil, I am going to add my macaroni to it, okay? So, let me get that in there real quick. Open that box up. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll put the top on that for a few minutes. Now that's boiling. You don't want your macaroni to stick. So what we'll do is we'll stir that real quick. Bringing it to a boil. That's got to come back up. That actually has to come back up to a boil. So. Let's, let's keep our eyes on that, and as that comes back up to a boil, we'll keep stirring it, and then we'll do a chew check, we call it. We'll take, we'll take one out there, and you want that macaroni tender. All you new cooks out there, you want that tender to the chew is the way I put it. And then uh, we'll put that aside. We'll actually put maybe a stick of butter in there. I like to throw a stick of butter in there. Put it aside, and we'll stir that butter in. That way the macaroni, you know, your noodles won't stick together. You can also put a little green olive oil in there too. A little virgin green olive oil, add a little bit of that in there. Or you can take and put some of your broth in there, okay? I'll probably take and put a little broth into mine. So, my, actually this broth is about ready. And my God, is this ever smelling good. Everything's all cooked up real nice here. So what we'll do, yeah! Now I want you to know, this show's for Stephanie out there. We did that chicken, or no, we did the turkey pot pie show for Stephanie up there in, uh, out of Albany, New York. And from this same turkey, Stephanie, we're actually making this turkey soup. So, you know, get your pen out, write this down, or just go to my website, and uh, you already know the website, so uh, go there or Facebook me, and uh, if you need the directions or whatnot, I'll send them to you. 
okay? Any questions, just ask me stuff. No, no problem. And I really hope you enjoy that turkey pot pie. I know you're going to be making that this weekend. I hope you guys enjoy that. Let me know how you like it. Ours is all gone. It was delicious. So, I like to take a minute too, and I'd like to thank uh, Jesse down there at Shirley's Hardware. He is awesome, and all the staff at Shirley's Hardware are great people. We've been using a lot of their cookware on our shows. And I mean, if I need anything, I say, hey, Jesse, I need a blah, blah, blah. And boom, it is there. So thank you, Jesse. I can't, I can't say enough. And all you, all you people out there in Martha's Vineyard, you already know who Jesse is. And you already know where Shirley's Hardware is. So, And you know you can't beat him. Um, and also, I'd like to thank MVTV. You guys are great. Now, if anybody on the island wants to learn how to film a show, do their own show, become their own producer, director, they want to learn editing, I mean, there is a great staff at MVTV. You go on down, you join, and you learn how to do it. It is really a lot of fun. And if you don't know where they are, they're located right next to the high school, right here on Martha's Vineyard. And everybody knows where the high school is. That's where they have the awesome football games. So let's go over here and check our noodles. Get these noodles checked. Nice. 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 Okay. We better turn our broth down a little bit now, too. We've been keeping an eye on the broth. That broth, I'm telling you, it's done. And my God, does that ever smell good? And I'll show you that over here in a minute. We're going to bring that right over here and uh, mix us up a dish. And I'll show you what this looks like. Hi, I'm Peter. I hope you're enjoying my cooking show. We're filming on this beautiful island of Martha's Vineyard, and it is awesome here. It's a fall of the year. I want to take a minute and introduce my new book that I just got. I just received this. It's, it's out for publication now. It's called The Outlaw Deer Hunter, and it's based on a true story. You'll probably see this on island at Bunch of Grapes here very soon, and at Kronix. Love shopping at Kronix. I use a lot of their food for my cooking show. But what this is all about is I just want to let you know, I've done three books now. I've done The Outlaw Deer Hunter, my cookbook, Cooking with Puppa Tuck, which the show is based on, as you know, and we've done the children's book, Pumpkin Bunch, which we're doing a cartoon. But what I'm getting at here is I've done this all within the last 12 months. I've actually put out three books that I've sat down and written myself. I've, all, I've had them edited. You know, and, and I've got them to a finished product and they're ready for shelf. I want, I want everybody out there to know if you've got a book and everybody has a book in their mind that they would like to do, I'm here to help you do your books. You can go to my website at papabooks.net and email me at pete at papabooks.net and I'll help you do your books. I myself have do, are doing these and I've got right now set up 25 cent per sale on each one of my books going to food pantries in the United States and I'm setting all of that up and you can view that on my website too. And I, I just want to let you know we're going to be cooking at the PA Club here in Oak Bluffs, Massachusetts, a wonderful organization and proceeds are going to be going to Island Charities, which is totally awesome. I love doing it. I'm basically donating my time to go over there and cook in their kitchen. We're having guests come in. The guests pay for a ticket. I think it's about 20 bucks a head. You get to eat. You're on the show. We have awesome food. I'm going to be cooking with different chefs from all over the place, inviting them in once a month. And we're going to be doing this the second Monday of each month. So. I hope you can come on down and, and join in. And remember, go to my website. So, and again, you've got to check out my new book, The Outlaw Deer Hunter. This thing is awesome. It has some very, very nice illustrations in it. You know, not a lot. It's a lot of good reading. And when I did this, I, I did it in very big typeset. More or less because of my eyes. Dad said, welcome to the mid 40s. And I've been wearing glasses ever since. So, but anyhow, I did very big typeset, so it's easy reading. And it's good for all ages. And it's based on a true story. Well, I hope you're enjoying our shows. And uh, keep in tune. Channel 13 at MVTV here on Ireland is showing the shows. So I'll see you there. All right. Let me get my binoculars back on so I can see. Our soup broth is done. I'm going to turn it off and bring it over here. 
I'm gonna put this stuff into a, like a glass ball over here, all the soup fixing, so you can see what it looks like. Stephanie, you're gonna love this. Yeehaw! Let's get this turned off. That's like this. Now this baby's hot, so be careful. All you new cooks out there, try to use your pot holders. What we'll do is we'll bring this broth right over here like this, okay? And I actually want to set this up on a on, on my pot holder because it is really, really hot. Oh my god, does that ever smell good? Woo wee do that. Mmm, mmm. Can't wait to bite into that. Alright, our noodles are done. Why why we were off while we were off there checking up the the books and whatnot. I got the noodles all done. I strained them in the sink and I actually put a stick of a whole stick of butter in there. Okay? Because I like butter in my noodles. So let me bring them over. I'll actually show you what it looks like here a little bit. Alright. Now you notice in this show, I didn't put any salt and pepper in here, okay? I don't like to do that while I'm cooking because the the foods have natural salt. In them, you know what I mean? And the pepper and whatnot you add when you're eating, the way I look at it, with, with the soup. There are some dishes out there that I'll throw pepper and salt in while I'm cooking and, you know, things of that nature, but not my soup. Um, we can add salt and pepper to taste. That's how my nephew Eric says it. Salt and pepper to taste. How you doing, Eric? All right, so let's get a little bit of this macaroni in here. 90s, I call them. Elbow macaroni. Put some of that stuff right in there like this. Okay. Just like that. Bing, bing, bing. And I'm gonna set this. Actually, what, I, what I'm gonna to do too is let's put this aside for a minute. And just as a precaution, so that my noodles don't stick together, I'll take some of this, oh my God, does that smell good. I'll take some of my broth and put in this, okay? You know, the camera wanna get close up, I don't know if you can, well, let me, let me get this all mixed in first. I'm gonna put some broth in here just so that my noodles don't stick together. Okay, not a lot, just a little bit. Look at that. Oh my God, does that ever look good. Now let me see what, let me see if I can hold this up without dumping it and show you close up. That's about what the soup's looking like. Of course, I didn't get any of the turkey or anything in there or a lot of veggies. I just put broth in there, but this is what it's looking like. I didn't put a lot of broth in. Remember, I'm not gonna turn this back on. We're just gonna let this cool like this Basically, so that our noodles don't stick together, okay? So, at this point, let me put this aside. Actually, I'll put this back over on the stove, okay? Don't want to get burnt, so we'll put this back over here like that. We'll bring this baby back up here. Oh my God, I can't speak enough of that. Let's get some of our goodies in here. Look at that. Oh my God, does that ever look good? Now you'll notice, as this was cooking, okay, and the camera wanna get a close up of this, I'll hold this up like this. As this was cooking, our turkey sorta of shredded up, okay? And it's not in big chunks. Um, it sorta, of, as it cooked, the grains of the meat broke up and it's like, my God, does it ever look good. It's nice and tender, of course. And I used the brown meat, okay? Because the family ate all the white meat. <laughs> but it is what it is. Now, you can, let me get some broth into this. Look at that soup. Oh my God, does that ever look good. Now that's ready to serve. And we'll get a little bowl here in a minute. We'll show you how to serve this up. Now, your soup, the way that I cook this, say a family of two. Um, a lot of people out there are, are, are hurting, first of all. I mean, everybody is. The economy is not in very good condition. So a really nice thing to do is to can your leftovers. Now, I'm gonna do some shows on canning and I'm gonna teach you on air how to can foods for those of you out there that don't know how to, okay? Um, we can take and can this soup, okay? And being turkey with the veggies and stuff of that nature in there, will pressure can this. And I'll show you how to do that on it. I'm probably gonna do a series of canon shows actually. We'll pressure can this. You can put it down in a canning room, down stellar on the shelf of, of anything of that nature. And it's good for a couple of years. I mean, you want soup later on, all you do is pull this thing out. You make some 90s, you know, your, your elbow macaroni. 
and you've got soup, and you didn't have to go out and buy a turkey, you already had it, which is really cool. So, it, it, I mean, you can do this with all kinds of things. We're going to be canning meats, we're going to be canning veggies out of the garden, we're going to be canning soups, all, all kinds of little things. So let me, let me get this back over the stove, okay? And that basically is, is your soup, okay? Now, my sons like to add either saltine or rich crackers to it, little bit of Parmesan cheese, and it, I mean, it's, it's just dynamite. You can't beat this soup and it's homemade, okay? So, again out there, if you'd like to be on the new game shows that are, I'm going to be filming, you want to be a contestant. Now, I'm going to have two hosts that are going to be working with me on this show, which are both actually comedians, and, and I'm not even going to get into it, but we're going to have teams of three, and they're going to compete against each other for prizes. And we're going to run a series of 10 shows to the total rounds to the grand prize winner. The winner of each round will go to the next round. And we're going to be filming these here on Martha's Vineyard. So um, go, to, go to my website and send me an email if you would like to be a contestant on that show. Okay? Now, enjoy your two turkey soup. And that's it. I hope you had fun with cooking with Papa Tuck in Papa Tuck's kitchen. Yeehaw! See you soon. Yeehaw! How you doing? Let's get serious here for a minute. I'm Peter from Papa's Cooking Show. A lot of you have probably seen the show where I'm teaching people how to cook. And it's based on my cooking book. I'd like to get serious here for a minute. I want you to know that this is all about the food pantries. I'm filming these shows on this beautiful island Martha's Vineyard in the state of Massachusetts and you know even here we've got we've got hungry people my show and my books are all about feeding hungry people and I'm trying to do that through the website I have a website where people can go and purchase my books portions of my proceeds are going to food pantries all over the United States on my website you'll notice that I have gathering new authors and old authors they're joining me in this venture and everybody's going to be donating to food pants one thing that I would like to stress is the next time you're in a grocery store everybody goes to the grocery store to get food I am starting to work with grocery chains there's going to be food pantry boxes through their local food pantries the next time you see one throw a box of hamburger helper in it I mean that little box of hamburger helper feeds a family of starving children. So I just want you to know that's what my show is all about. And you know, just keep watching. I've, I've got guests coming on from all over the world. And it's it's really starting to, to touch my heart with the things that are going on. I have people coming up to me and say, hey, thank you. I just donated a couple cans in the box down at, at Stop and Shop, for instance, right here on Island. Totally awesome. Stop and Shop is doing their part. It's time for you people to do your part. Help the hungry people in, in the United States. And yeah, I'll see you on the, on the show.